Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to learn how we can create a chart to compare the rolling month value against the month-to-month -month value. To do a rolling month calculation, we are going to do a window calculation. So we first need to understand how we can do that and how it works in Tableau. So over here, I have a table of the order date and the sum of the profit of each of this month. To perform a window calculation, it is quite simple. We just have to right click on this and select quick table calculation. So over here, this will give you all the window calculation options available. So what we actually want here is a moving sum, but we do not see the option here. So we can go to the add table calculation and here we can select our calculation type and we want a moving calculation and then we want it to be sum and we can select our options over here. So you click on this, you will see that we are doing a sum. In this case, what we want to achieve is the 12 rolling sum of the profit. So I'm going to take the 11 previous value. So what this is doing is it will take the sum of the 11 previous value. And over here, we have checked the current value means that you will also include the current value in the calculation. So we have our 12 rolling sum. So now if we hover over this measure here, we will see a description. It says that the window uses 11 previous value and the current month is included. This is exactly what we want, which will achieve our 12 rolling month sum. So let's validate this by adding our profit into the table. And we can see that this window calculation that we have performed is summing up the profit of the previous month. So we get this is the sum of this and this, this is the sum of all this tree because we are doing a 12 rolling month sum for these values there are no previous value to sum we will only sum whatever values are available by december we will have 11 previous value to sum including the current month value and in january it will be the sum of this value and 11 previous value which will be from february 2017 to january 2018 now that we've understood how the moving calculation work and validated the numbers, we are going to convert this into the chart that we wanted. So I'm going to bring this over here to the row and rearrange all this. So now we have our dual chart over here and we want to convert this into a dual axis. Now, what happens is we only see one line chart, which is not what we want. We wanted to compare the 12 rolling month sum against the monthly profit. So what went wrong is because we need to tell Tableau which direction this computation is done. So over here, we have actually rearranged our order date. Previously, what we had was we had our order date this direction. So the computation is computing down. And now, we have our dates this direction. So we need to tell Tableau is computing across. So we can go on to this aggregated measure value over here and you can identify the window calculation if you see this triangle icon over here. So we right click on this and we want to compute using table across. So now we have our 12 rolling month sum and we are going to combine this two chart again and we want to sync our axis. So here is our 12 rolling month sum against our monthly profit. So let's also change the color of this chart. Okay, so there are other window calculation that might also be useful. So we can right click on this and we can change the window calculation. So let's say for example, we can do a running total. This will give us the sum of all the profit to date in this data. And something that might be more useful is that maybe we might want to look at the moving average instead. We might want a six rolling month average so we can compare what is the average profit across six months compared to the current month profit. So to do that, we just go back to this calculation here and we can edit the table calculation and we want to select back the moving calculation. And this time, instead of using sum, we are going to use average. And now we want the six rolling month average. So this will mean I want to include five of the previous month, including the current month, which will give us the six rolling month average. 
So now we have our 6 rolling month average line chart over here compared against the monthly profit. If you like this, do remember to like, share and subscribe to support this channel.